This year especially, it is time to bid farewell to the unseasonably cold winter and welcome with wide open arms the spring. And with spring comes spring cleaning. And actually getting excited or motivated or inspired to do it, especially with nicer weather ahead, is no easy task. So this video is going to cover how to plan for and stay motivated during spring cleaning. Now before we get into it, I want to remind you that we debuted the free Clean My Space community on our website, cleanmyspace.com, where we're featuring the ultimate spring cleaning guide and a whole bunch of awesome checklists. I'll put the links down below so you can join us at the end of this video. Setting realistic goals. First, let's set some realistic expectations and goals. I've always been a very goal-oriented person, especially with cleaning. If I'm gonna be successful, I've gotta be realistic. I think one chore a week for six weeks is both attainable and realistic. If you overshoot, you'll fail before you even start. So pick six areas or tasks in your home and that's all you're gonna clean this year. Okay, let that sink in for a minute. Doesn't that feel so much easier and more manageable? While most of you think I am a perfectionist, the truth is I'm not. I'm only perfect at being imperfect. And knowing that and applying that to cleaning means that I don't have to do everything and I don't have to do it perfectly. I just have to give it my best effort and set reasonable and realistic goals. It feels so much easier and more attainable in that headspace. Now sit tight because I'll explain how to pick those six chores a little later on. Choosing your time. Just like planning an outing with a friend, a visit to a family member's house, or a workout, this also requires scheduling in. Or else I'm willing to bet that the cleaning will actually never happen. I mean, do you know how many cat and makeup and skateboarding and cooking and comedy and gaming and music videos exist on the internet? Distractions are inevitable. And if you don't book the time in and commit to it, it ain't happening. So get your schedule out now and pick a time that you're going to book in your cleaning. If you have a smartphone or an online calendar, you can even schedule in a reoccurring event for six weeks. If you book one hour in each week at the same time and day, by the end of six weeks, you'll have given six dedicated hours to improving your space. And if an hour feels like too much, just do 30 minutes. I honestly don't care, just do something. And set an alarm to remind yourself that it's time to clean. Give yourself a sweet reward. I don't mean a sweet reward like a candy apple, Chicago style popcorn, or an artisan donut. Although you certainly could do that. Chad does that a little too much. What I mean is find a reward that's super exciting and tempting and tell yourself that if you stick it out for the six weeks, that sparkly, shiny, sugary, fun new thing is all yours. Maybe it's a new video game, a night on the town with a fancy dinner, perhaps a set of crafting scissors, or maybe it's a manicure. But whatever it is, treat yourself to something you really want as a reward for the work. That way, you pay yourself. And the sweeter the reward, the more motivated you'll be. Get into the right headspace. So, game time has arrived, and now you've gotta maximize your most precious resource, time. To get the most out of each hour, here's what you'll need to do. Remove all distractions. All electronics are off, except for music and a timer. If you have little ones, doing this during nap time is wise. You have a drink with you in case you're thirsty, go to the bathroom ahead of time, and definitely eat something before. That way, absolutely nothing interferes with this precious cleaning time. Then, get all cleaning products and tools ready so that you don't have to leave your area at all. Make sure you've figured out how to do the task ahead of time, either by watching a video or reading up about it. And guess what? You can likely find that info on our channel or on cleanmyspace.com. If you know exactly what you're going to do, you'll have laser focus and you'll know step by step how to complete that task. Then you'll find music you love and you'll start playing that. Get your timer ready and set it for an hour. Remind yourself constantly that you're doing this just for you, not anyone else. You're gonna feel amazing after, 
so proud and accomplished. And that's what really counts. Now, I know that's a lot to think about, but I feel like it's a great starting point for spring cleaning. And I know you can do it. I've got a bonus video and a printable scorecard for you that's designed as a foolproof method to determine which six spaces you should tackle this year. Check them out by clicking on your screen, or if you're watching on your phone or your tablet, go to this video's description area down below to find the link to tap and watch. For our common question of the week, I wanna know what are the six areas that you're going to tackle this spring? Leave them in the comment section down below. I look forward to reading all of your responses. There's a button down there that lets me know you care, so click it if you like this video, and remember to subscribe to catch more of our cleaning videos, including more of our spring cleaning videos. Thanks so much for watching, and let's get to spring cleaning.